And thanks for all the panelists and the participants from the last few days for their contributions. I learned a lot. Uh, Kazan has left me a deep impression. And I couldn't think of any other city uh, for us to be unpacking the pathways of excellence in, the critical, in this uh, critically uh, important region. I have a few uh, key points and I would like to address. Throughout uh, Tsinghua's 107-year uh, uh, history, we might be the exception of the Cultural Revolution period, was always an international, outward-looking university. But what we are experiencing in recent years is a change in our tradition model of global engagements. So we are receiving visitors from places that we haven't engaged with before. We are working on cooperation proposals from diverse places, including universities in Central Asia and tapped regions of Russia and beyond. Tsinghua warmly welcomes this, and we recognize that there is a long way to go for Tsinghua to being as diverse and inclusive as we like. After all, we are still very much following an American academic tradition, just like uh, Dr. Bavana mentioned. Three quarters of our dual master degree programs are with US partners. We want all graduates to be more diverse than that. China diplomats, for example, typically have engaged in language studies in English-speaking countries, and we think that there should be more diversity reflective of new realities in our region and beyond. We will talk about the Belt and Road Initiative and the implications, both perceived and real, on education and research. I think BRI, in short, is an overwhelmingly positive opportunity for the region and the world. And I note yesterday, uh, Professor Susan Robertson touched upon this narration, the rich history of exchange and development in the region and the ambitious nature of the BRI. But we have to do it right, do the BRI right. The implementation and the mindset has to be and is being revised and to address some inherent problems. The 7th of September will mark the fifth anniversary of President Xi Jinping's announcement of the BRI policy direction. He happened to announce this in uh, a very close area. So my fellow panelists, particularly those from Kazakhstan, are well placed to elaborate on their national perspectives. But I'd like to share some observations from China. These five years, the past five years, we've seen many Chinese universities forming research platforms for BRI, think tanks, educational programs for BRI. The number of these has grown fast. This, there is a whole lot of talking and noise if I should say noise, about BRI going on. The number of forums and conferences is countless. It seems that domestically in China, BRI is vastly different to different people. There is a risk here that BRI's education-related projects become purely theoretical or even worse, heavily biased to date, the education initiatives have been dominated by the development of China's area, area studies, international relations, and the like. And this might feed into perceptions that China stands to gain much than its partners. So there is a process of correction going on, a process which recognizes the BRI is inherently an open, inclusive platform that seeks win-win solution. 
Last year, Xinhua agency, news agency, the most important government news agency, clarified that BRI should no longer be characteristic as strategy or maybe narrow-minded uh, national strategy. Rather, it should be uh, described as an initiative, which highlights some of the previous misunderstandings of the policy. It's definitely not the case of China's way or the highway, so to speak. So we shouldn't be conflating the idea of corporate China's going global. This is a, another a separate phenomenon. Similarly, in education, there are many projects that coincide with uh, BRI. They may even be in the spirit of the BRI, but it isn't set by the directive or as part of the BRI. Some independent examples, including the Asian University Alliance, a grouping of Asian leading universities that was established at Tsinghua in the year, last year, actually. One of the signature programs of this is the Asia Deep Dive Culture Programs. Uh, in the nominated uh, university, this year in uh, Nabazayev, that students from all member universities can apply to attend. In addition, Tsinghua overseas centers or bases that Tsinghua has established recently include the Global Innovation Exchange in Seattle, in, in partnership with the uh, University of Washington and Microsoft, Tsinghua Innovation and Design Hub in Milano, and if we look down the pipeline, I can share that Tsinghua is in advanced discussions about a South American center in Chile and a Southeast Asia center in Indonesia. Those centers will lead to a more coherent and coordinated mm. collaboration with these regions. Though these are in BRI regions, these aren't BRI projects. This is Tsinghua and our partners carry on carrying out their international strategy and interpreting and carrying out our individual needs and aspirations. No matter what terms we use and which banner the cooperation is perceived, we can call it SDGs, SREB, BRI. Those terms should restrict our imagination in designing new education programs. Educators should use a BRI to serve their respective education purpose for talent development, for research collaboration, rather than serving the instrumental goals of the BRI itself. So ladies and gentlemen, I mentioned that BRI is less than five years old. In the scheme of things, it's a very, very short time. I advocate, advocate a patient approach that promotes people to people link, mm -hmm. interdisciplinary, cross-culture fluency of our students, of our respective students and faculty. And acknowledge that this takes decades rather than years. This approach will best serve the development of regions' excellency and global excellency in our institutions, which is complementary to our existing global partnerships in the spirit of knowledge sharing and mutual learning. So I'm keen to hear other, uh, my fellow panelists. So I hand it to the moderator. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for giving us a very complex and also detailed uh, overview of this, which is very, very uh, beneficial.